This is criminal behavior! Monty Williams! You pile! Get attached to Gafford setting the down screen and get your arms extended so Kyrie Irving can't curl! This is poorly coached! I hate you! You Why are you not hedging this ball screen? The sideline is right there! Kyrie Irving will have to pick his dribble up in an instant! Cunningham will be in backside help. He won't have to be there for any time at all. Wiseman will then recover. But you're in your dumb drop coverage. So Jaden Ivey's got to come to the ball. And you leave Dodgers wide open. You're Jaden Ivey. You don't guard above the three-point line away from the ball. Monty Williams is a pile of trash. Get to the three-point line with your back to the baseline. You're in the gaps. Then don't leave your feet and gamble. So now you're beat. But Cade Cunningham's not a part of any of this. Could you please get out to Dante Exum? So you're just standing in the middle of nowhere. How many mistakes you want to make on one frickin' play? First of all, this shot is going up. You're watching the shot go up. Jaden Ivey and Fontecchio should be getting back right now. Should be getting back right now. They're not. The main problem is Marcus Sasser. You do not worry about the ball when it's across half court. You get back to Josh Green. Look at Marcus Sasser backpedaling, staring at the ball instead of getting back. Look at how you ask Jade and Ivy to guard. The sideline is right. Please hedge. Get the dribble picked up. Amude's in backside help. Cade Cunningham take both Mavs two passes away. Duran's going to be hedging for half a second. He's going to have to pick his dribble up, and I can come back, recover, and bump Amude back to his man. But look at your Jade and Ivy's supposed to guard from over the top while Luka Doncic is already in the paint. Are you... Step in, NBA! This is horrible! You are operating a layup line! Get up and hedge! Get him out of the lane! There's no place for Gafford to roll to! Look at this! You're in drop coverage right here! It's just walk to the rim! How is this fair to anyone on Earth? Off of a made frickin' basket! Stanley Amude, stop pressing and get back! Durin, Cunningham, get back! Isaiah Stewart, get back to a body! Off a made basket! This is your... Look at this! You got two people guarding Josh Green! If you're going under a screen, you get up and jam the screener so Amude can get cleanly underneath and able to guard. You don't look at because because you don't jam the screener, now a second defender's got to come to the ball in Jalen Durant. So now Isaiah Stewart has to get in backside help when all you're trying to do is go under a screen. And Cade Cunningham stuck guarding two Mavs. Disgusting. Ban this pile of trash. This is why you freaking hedge. This is why I'm pushing Luka Doncic to half court. Now I have backside help for Daniel Gafford. Fontecchio takes one step. He's in backside help. Skip pass. Easy recovery. When you run drop coverage and give Luka Doncic the lane, there's no backside. No one can step up because now I can't recover on any skip pass. Operating a layup line. This is garbage. This is not fair. Get up and edge. The sideline. Kane Cunningham's in backside help. You'll be in. You'll be hedging for half a second. He's gonna have to pick his dribble up. Then I recover and bump Kane Cunningham back. You're operating a layup line. How is this fair? No, you're not backpedaling on Luka Doncic. James Wiseman's in help right now. So Isaiah Stewart, up, show your hands, force Luka Doncic to the middle of the floor where there's help. All you're doing is backpedaling and backpedaling and no coaching. You're going under the freaking screen. First of all, you got to jam the screener so Jaden Ivey can get under. And Jaden Ivey's got to fully commit to going under. You're trying to go over the screen first. You're going to be late getting under. But why can't you hedge here? Why? There's no place for Gav Fontecchio's in backside help. Skip pass, easy recovery. This is awful. Just a layup line. You pile of trash. The Pistons pick and roll defense is to freaking give Luka Doncic a wide open jumper. Hedge the screen and get him out. Backside help is right there. Look at this garbage. This is what no one's safe. The Pistons are in their dumb drop coverage. Jaden Ivey falls on the screen. So you're not coming back to the ball, Jaden. You're going to Kyrie Irving. Now, Cade Cunningham needs to communicate this, but obviously it is detrimental if four defenders take Luka Doncic here. Four. First of all, in transition, you're Jaden Ivey. Show your hands, force Luka Doncic to the middle of the floor. Nope, you got your hands on Luka Doncic's arm right here. So now he can easily step off you. How about Isaiah Stewart? 
You're guarding a non-shooter in Daniel Gafford. Stay in the gaps with your feet set and be in help. Why is Isaiah Stewart leaving here? Where are you? Same exact thing. Evan Fournier, show your hands. You're giving Luka Doncic to the middle of the floor. Good. But you, again, you got your hands on Luka's chest right here. So now he's going to be able to spin off you away from this help. How about Fontecchio? You know why you're going to be late to get over and help? Because you're not there. Dante Exum's not a good three-point shooter. Even if he is, back to the baseline, feet set him in the gaps. I can stunt, recover. There's no place for Doncic to go to. But this crap. Garbage coaching staff. This is a special amount of garbage. Evan Fournier, quit hugging the three-point line. Get your back to the baseline. There should be no place for Exum to go to. Stunt, recover, dribbles, picked up. So that doesn't happen. Now here on the, you know you're switching. So sprint up if you're James Wiseman ready to switch. Sprint up. You walk up. So now you're coming uphill as P.J. Washington's going downhill. How about Fournier? Your back's to the ball again. You're not rotating the ball, getting in the gaps. I can stunt and recover here but you're not. This coaching staff is killing, killing everything. Tim Hardaway Jr. picks his freaking dribble up right here. Stanley Amude, get out to Josh Green now. Get There's nothing to be in help for. Why is Stanley Amude standing aimlessly in the paint, waiting for what? And now you're not ready to guard. Dylan Dern is just simply not trying. I wouldn't either. You play for the single worst human being on the planet. Sprint back. Sprint back. Sprint back. Sprint back. Look at when we see Jalen Duran next. You were walking back. I wouldn't sprint back for Monty Williams anyways. Marcus Sasser, this is an auto switch here. You and get up, ready to switch and guard the ball immediately. Where are you go? Why are you back? I should be able to just simply easily get over this screen. But you weren't ready to switch. And now that Simone Fontecchio is trying to ice the screen. So Jalen Duran's got to get up here. Up here. Icing a screen means Luka Doncic stays up and towards the sidelines. That does not mean he gets in the lane. You have backside help right there. Cross court pass gets made. Easy recovery. But you you look at this. You're letting this is not icing. You're just letting him walk right in the paint. And now you can't recover on these skips. It's the same thing. You're, Simone Fontecchio's icing the screen. James Wiseman's up and keeping Luka Doncic to the sideline. Backside help right there for, with Cade Cunningham. But this is not icing. You just let Luka Doncic walk in the paint. What? <laughs>